Hi, I'm Jack Walters. I'm a senior English education major here at Siena. My pronouns are he, him, his. And before you ask, my name is just Jack. It's not John, it's not Jackson or anything like that. Never understood why people who are, go by the name of John are called Jack. It's always confused me, but it's a question I get asked a lot. So I thought I'd clear the air up early. Um, some of my intellectual interests is I've always, always, always loved English class. It was always my favorite subject. Um, I've loved storytelling. I've loved how stories are crafted and how people write. People, people write similarly to how they talk. Walk with me here. So you know how like nobody tells the same story the same. Like everybody tells it differently. Like I, I'm a very dramatic person. I go into extreme detail. Some people aren't like that. Some people just tell the basic stuff and they call it a day. And that's unique. And it's so similar to how we write. Nobody writes the same. And the way that we tell stories is just so kind of unique. And I just think that that's something really cool. Like, you know, when you do math or something like that, you say three plus three is six. That's just a fact. With writing though, there's so many different ways and there's so many ways for you to be creative with it and that's something I really loved and something that I hope to pass on to my future classroom. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, how did I get in, how did my interest come to me? Um, well, I've, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and before Disney bought Star Wars, I read the Expanded Universe novels, one of them I have right here love this book um and it kind of expands so much on the world of star wars and like it says expanded universe but it's different authors telling um like ex expanding on the stories that we're so familiar with to create like a much broader story and i always found that to be so unique is that it's you know different people telling something that we're very familiar with but with like their own little twist to it and i feel like that's something that's really unique um, like I said, I hope to just kind of instill the creativity and the beauty of just kind of writing and English and stories and conflict and characterization and all that stuff. And especially when it comes to poetry, because growing up, I always thought poetry was just like cat in the hat, like, you know, everything has to rhyme and everything has to be perfect. And if it doesn't rhyme, it's not poetry. But that's kind of a facade and that's kind of wrong because poetry is all around us. It's in the music that we listen to. Like I would consider Taylor Swift's songs to be poetry in a way. One, because yes, they do rhyme. But B, her songs always tell a story. Like you can always follow the story along. And I feel like if you were to just put her lyrics up, it could be like that. Or like Maya Angelou. She is a, it's a fantastic poet and not all of her stuff rhymes. Um, oh my gosh, why am I blanking? Oh well, I, mean, I gave you two examples, so, so there's that. Um, but I don't know, it's also like if you go on Pinterest and you see like inspirational quotes sometimes, like that could be deemed poetry. Um, and it's so, so unique and so creative. And that's something I really love about English. And one of the reasons why I decided to pursue this as my major. And yeah, I'm really excited about that. All right, so I don't have much time left. I'm trying to meet the four minute deadline, but um, I am a huge, huge, huge people person. I love talking to new people and learning new things and building connections with people. I recently worked as an orientation leader on campus for my third and final year. So I love fun facts about people. And yeah, overall, I'm just really looking forward to getting to know all of you and getting to work with all of you. And yeah, thanks for listening.